What's up, sons? It's Blindrod with Sava Tech once again, and welcome to the 27th episode of Mining Rig Wars. If you'd like to enter, be sure to email submissions at sonofatech.com or head on over to the website at sonofatech.com and click the Submit Your Rig button. You're always welcome to send additional photos on top of the submission from the website as well to the previously mentioned email address. So today we have five rigs. You're going to vote for your favorite one up in the corner there's going to be a little i button just click it and there'll be a poll showing there and vote for your favorite rig the winner will be entered into the finals episode which airs after the previous three episodes have aired so once a month and the top three winners from the previous three episodes will be entered into that and there's a little bit of crypto in it if you do win so if you'd like to submit go for it and don't forget to go ahead and keep checking your email for if you did win so i can actually get some uh, get some crypto over to you of your choice. I think we've been kind of not doing a lot of Bitcoin lately. We've been doing some Litecoin, some Ethereum, so on and so forth, just because of fees. But that Bitcoin price is also up today, which is super awesome. I think we broke 10,000. Uh, that's what I heard, at least. I'll have to check because it probably is already at, while I'm recording this, like 11,000. And then probably by the time it airs, it's going to be back down to 9,000. Who knows? Let's get into Rig Wars episode 27. Welcome back. So the first rig today is Rig A Scylla by Nico. He's rocking the G3930 processor, so super awesome pick there. The go-to processor, of course. He's got the Biostar TB250 BTC motherboard, four GTX 1050 Ti's from Zotac, and two GTX 1050 Ti's from NO3D. He does have a single GTX 1063 gigabyte in there, eight gigabytes of RAM, a single Biostar 1250 watt power supply and three 120 millimeter fans, essentially. He said 12 centimeter. Now, I'm not sure exactly what his hash rate is here, but if it was me, I'd probably be throwing it at Raven personally, especially with those 1050 Ti's and that GTX 1030 or 1063 gig. I've been running my 1030s against Raven as well as all my three gigs, and it's been super awesome. Next, we have Rig B Optimus Prime by Stefan. He's rocking six Sapphire RX 580 8GB Nitros, two EVGA 650 watt power supplies, the Biostar TB250 BTC Pro with a G3930 once again, perfect. Same exact parts as previous other than the power supply is split between two instead of a single 1200 watt, four gigabytes of DDR4, a 320 gigabyte Western Digital Caviar Blue hard drive, six risers that are LED illuminated. I've never seen these, so I am super curious and now I want to buy them because lights. Extra hash rate is what I hear. And a dual power supply jumper, 190 mega hash a second. Next is Rig C, Iggy by Iggy. He didn't name the rig, so I just called it Iggy. There you go. He's got three Asus Strix 1080Ti overclocked editions with a single MSI 1080Ti Trio and a single MSI GTX 1080 Gaming X edition. And yet again, he says one MSI GTX 1080 Ti Gaming X is incoming from Amazon. And I'm sure he already has it in the rig. So updated pictures, I'll try to update it on the website for the blog post that goes up to accompany this. A one terabyte Western Digital internal hard drive and Samsung four gigabytes of DDR4 clocked at 2400 megahertz with two Corsair RM850 watt power supplies. Rig D is the beast by Jack. He's rocking the Intel Pentium G3930 once again. I couldn't tell what motherboard and he didn't state it. I can't really see too clear in this picture. So I think this is part of the reason we're working on curation for the website, fellas. We're going to start pretty much knocking these out if the community agrees that these are not getting put into rig wars they're going to start getting avoided because we didn't get enough information on the rig and we didn't get clear enough pictures to be able to see exactly what's running because of that orange lighting i wanted to say it might be a gigabyte board but i can't really tell so we don't know 
He has the Galax Sniper GTX 1078GB, an MSI GTX 1066GB, and the EVGA GTX 1063GB with the MSI RX 570 GPU as well. So he's got a mixed rig here. I would assume that you're probably going to be wanting to run things that make it easier, like Claymore makes it a lot easier to go ahead and mine, you know, with two different manufacturers in the rig. So I'm curious what his hash rate is. He didn't really say, and I would assume, like I said, he's probably mining Ethereum at this point. And then finally, we got a really exciting one here, Rig E by Derek. It's TBD, so the name is to be determined. I think we should try to help him name it in the comment section below. So put your ideas down there and hopefully Derek, we find a name for your rig. It's a super clean rig with pretty much a perfect example of a custom wood frame. He's got the MSI Z270A Pro motherboard, which I used a lot in my first mining rigs. He's got the Intel Pentium G4400, which I used a lot. Looks like he copied exactly what I did. Are you watching my videos? <laughs> He's got eight gigabytes of DDR4 Corsair Vengeance 2400 megahertz memory and a Western Digital 500 gigabyte drive. He's got the Corsair HX1000i power supply with two XFX RX580 triple X editions and two XFX RX580 black editions. He did mention, of course, that he used the homemade frame or wood to build the homemade frame. And like I said earlier, it's super awesome. His total hash rate is 117 to 118 mega hash a second and is probably my favorite rig submission for the week. Of course, I can show favorites, right? That's, that's okay. I'm, I apologize. I apologize. I do assume that because he's got that full hard drive over there that he is rocking Windows 10. I'd recommend looking into something like Hive OS or Simple Mining. I am leaning more and more towards Hive OS as they seem to be getting all of the mining updates or minor updates the quickest. They even now also support pretty much built into the image the ETH largement pill as well to get that automatic boost on your GDDR5X card. So they're really staying up to date with everything quite a bit better than simple mining. And I just thought that little note would be helpful to some of y'all. And then Rig D Jack, like I stated earlier, not clear enough pictures and we don't know what all the parts are. So I think this is going to be a wash. I'm, I'm sorry, Jack, but you're going to have to do better than that. I will say that that mounting uh, style is one of the more interesting ones that I've seen and I do think that it works quite well but you do have some more spacing on that shelf to go ahead and, ahead and hang them out a little bit more spaced out so that that middle one your middle GPU there I believe that's the EVGA 1063 gigabyte can breathe a little bit more and not be pinched between two other hot cards. On Rig C Iggy, the biggest complaint here is going with the i3-7100 instead of a Celeron processor. I do realize they might have been out of stock, but I did notice that you are currently running the Asus Maximus motherboard. And a quick note on that, and I don't know if that was repurposed because of a gaming rig. We do have this G5400, which is going to be the Coffee Lake Pentium. And we're going to be taking a look at this processor as they're readily in stock for around 50 bucks and will support the new Z370 boards. And a lot of those boards are pretty much copies of like the Asus Prime Z270P that was really popular with Skylake and Cabby Lake. We now have an option for that, of course, in the latest chipsets from Intel. So I'm super stoked on that. Rig B Optimus Prime, I'm jelly of the LED illuminated risers. I can't pronounce the name that they're from, but you can check it out in the description below. I'm gonna go try to find a link for it. I think you win just because of that. Not to mention all the cards are spaced out super well, so they're gonna breathe nice. And if you're gonna do an open air frame without having any fans for additional airflow going over the cards, spacing the cards out like this, especially with this type of cards, when you're talking about the Sapphire cards with those tool, uh, with those dual fans on them, those are basically uh, gonna disperse all of the air around the card. So if it was in a case, it would disperse the air back into the case instead of exhausting it. So using that spacing for this particular setup in these cards is gonna be fantastic. And then finally, Rig A Scylla. 
This is one that I really didn't have a lot of time to take a look at right away. All of the cards are quite close together, so maybe I did a similar build to this, but I think mine was a little bit more square. To fit this amount of cards in that rig, what I did was just add a brace on the backside and flip the cards, every other card around. I don't know if you have room to do that in this particular frame, but that could definitely help out some of your airflow. If you are gonna be close like this, taking a few 120 or 140 millimeter fans and putting them on the front of the case to push the air back and out and exhaust it away from the graphics cards is an option. The only other gripe here would be the eight gigabytes of DDR4 since you only need four gigabytes of it and with the price of memory being fixed, <clears throat> you might want to try to save some money in that aspect. So. There's all of the rigs for the week. Don't forget to vote with the eye up in the corner. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Mining Rig Wars. Come join us on Discord if you have any questions about mining or mining things. And check me out on twitch.tv slash sonofatech underscore if you want to talk some crypto and watch some video games because that's pretty much what I do over there. So with that all said, I'll see you next Tuesday.